for communities in general, I think the questions that kind of come up are, you know, why, why communities, how can they help me? And um, one of the ways that they really help is creating support for community members. So really, you know, employees need to feel supported in their work. Um, and for new people starting, it's, it's super important to support their onboarding. Um, for existing employees, it's important to enable that knowledge transfer. Um, and for everyone, we want to be able to solve problems collectively and be able to, to leverage that collective brain power to solve problems. So it helps support problem solving. And, um, you know, by doing all that, it just helps to increase uh, motivation because people feel when people feel supported, they feel they feel more motivated. Uh, it also helps in uh, accelerating professional development. So I know we often think of um, the professional development in terms of individual learning plans and taking courses and things like that. But a lot of the ways that we develop as professionals comes directly from our colleagues and having that that kind of uh, structure in place for these communities really helps support that professional development of individuals and groups and also helps strengthen our organization's capabilities. Um, and by having these communities, it can really help accelerate learning. One of the things um, it can also do is help break down silos. So I mentioned earlier about kind of static organizational structures, and those tend to be very silo forming that, you know, when you have departments and functions, those tend to serve as silos. And having these more um, organic and dynamic communities that pop up and change over time and evolve over time uh, can really help break down those silos. It can help in improve communication, um, increase knowledge sharing across the organization, reduce duplication, and just make it easier for work to flow. Um, and I think, you know, none of us ever intend to have silos form, but they just naturally do because of uh, the organizations we work in and, and having these COPs can really help. Um, there's still, you know, still challenges in that, and I'll go into those in just a minute, you know, there's still challenges we face with um, potential for creating new silos, but that's something we're working, uh, working to address. So it, uh, communities can also help in just that knowledge sharing. So re reducing the duplication of effort, uh, improving that problem solving, which I mentioned earlier, just kind of getting that collective brain power together helps to solve issues more quickly and um, leads to better working practices for all of us.